पापा जी आप बोलो कुछ हेलो हेलो एम आई आर डी बोल हेलो बट uh, आपको सुनाई दे रही है हमें सुनाई नहीं दे रही वी आर नॉट एबल टू हियर अच्छा शी इज जस्ट गोइंग पापा जी आप यहाँ ऊपर आप ये रे ऊपर देखो यहाँ पर हो आप ठीक है सुनाई दे रहा है कंप्यूटर पे नहीं ओनली ऑन फोन ही इज एबल टू हियर professor are you are you are we audible from here for you yeah no uh, you are audible yes okay so is it okay you are able to see him and hear him but he is not now able to see anyone but or he won't be able to see you may not even be able to hear okay he can give us speech okay so when will he give us speak that to that yeah i can do the auditorium oh sorry sorry not all the yeah hello Yeah, you can you can start speaking. We can hear. Okay, you 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 start speaking. We can international seminar on a very important theme which is the need of the day in fact uh, peace and justice are the two coveted ideals which are very much uh, aspired for and uh, they are eluding us because uh, we don't experience peace within and without nor do we find a, a full play of a, a justice uh, in the world and therefore uh, uh, these two ideals uh, need to be pursued uh, more vigorously more uh, in a planned way and uh, for that uh, Uh, we have to make a serious uh, sincere effort at both individual as well as uh, collective levels uh, peace uh, is a uh, both uh, individual social international and cosmic and therefore it is multi dimensional what we want first is peace within we want to be in peace and uh, um, therefore say that uh, uh, there should be mental tranquility and spiritual solace to experience peace there should also be peace uh, in society and uh, for that uh, we want uh, harmony in the society so that uh, people in may live uh, in a way which is uh, free from any conflict free from any tension free from any aggression 
<coughs> and therefore, uh, social peace is also so very much significant. But they are so equally significant and important is uh, international peace, peace uh, between and among the countries. Unfortunately, we find that uh, Russia and Ukraine, Israel and uh, Hamas, they are uh, in conflict. And uh, sometimes uh, it appeared that it may lead to world war. Well, any breach of peace is harmful, is devastating. And uh, it uh, does not contribute to not only harmony, but also prosperity. This is a precondition for prosperity. And if there is no prosperity, there can't be peace. So what we call in uh, Sanskrit is Abhyudaya. Without peace, there can't be Abhyudaya. Without peace, there cannot be Nishreyasa. Now, oh, this peace, uh, therefore, uh, is uh, very much uh, needed. And uh, yeah, our culture stands for peace. Peaceful coexistence. And uh, when we have peaceful coexistence, there is mutual cooperation. And when there is mutual cooperation, well, uh, there is, a, you can say, judicious uh, enjoyment of uh, the fruits of our effort. If anyone is denied and deprived of uh, his or her legitimate share in the prosperity, well, that comes to injustice. So, peace and justice go together. If there is uh, injustice, there cannot be peace. Well, if there is discrimination, if there is deprivement, uh, there cannot be peace because this may lead to conflicts, quarrels, and uh, even wars. Therefore, uh, justice also is equally important. A justice uh, is uh, also multidimensional like peace. We have uh, justice uh, within the family, within the society, within the nation, and also at world at large. So, what we have is individual justice, social justice, universal justice. And uh, justice, therefore, uh, is uh, again a precondition for not only cordiality, but also prosperity. Without uh, justice, uh, there cannot be prosperity. Because if uh, people are deprived of their legitimate needs, well, uh, uh, this will lead to conflict. And uh, if there is conflict, uh, there cannot be material progress and uh, there can't be material prosperity. But more than that, what we want is uh, not just material prosperity. We want a spiritual solace. And that spiritual solace can come only if uh, uh, there is a prevalence of uh, uh, justice. Justice uh, means uh, you deprive someone of his and her natural rights, natural needs, natural demands. We are born with uh, immense possibilities and uh, our possibilities uh, are to be actualized and for that, uh, we must have uh, suitable opportunities. So if uh, we are deprived of uh, such opportunities, then again, it amounts to the breach of peace, uh, breach of uh, justice. So peace and justice 
are very important in uh, human life. But uh, we don't just consider human being as the object of peace and justice. Well, we have to have uh, this extension of peace and justice to animals and to uh, this uh, 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 vegetable plants, trees, etc. So, ecology also is uh, one of the demands of uh, ecological balance, ecological uh, uh, maintenance that is also a part of peace. So we should have a broader vision of peace now. Of course, uh, uh, we do need, need uh, help of each other, one another, but uh, this should not lead to exploitation. And if there is exploitation, there is no peace. There is no this is exploitation is justice, injustice, breach of justice. Therefore, I wish say that uh, if uh, there is a lack of justice, then uh, there is a lack of uh, progress and prosperity. What we want is that uh, there should be peace within mental peace, peace of the individual, peace of the nation, and peace in the cosmos. Well, uh, in Indian culture, we have Shanti part. And now in our Shanti part, we talk of uh, peace uh, at every level of the cosmos. So in fact, basically, inherently, cosmos is orderly. But we human beings introduce disorder in the cos cosmos. We make use of uh, science and technology for uh, such purposes which uh, lead to breach of peace. We, is, for example, this atomic energy, it can be used for human wellness, but we misuse it to destroy humanity, and not only humanity, destroy the whole cosmos. If a uh, world war takes place, and uh, if it is uh, atomic world war, then uh, this atomic world war will uh, not only destroy humanity, it will also uh, have uh, dangerous consequences for nature and uh, for uh, innocent creatures. Therefore, uh, we have to have a, a peace brigade. We, of course, we do talk of peace brigade. We do have sermons on, for, on peace. We have conferences on peace. But uh, in actuality, we don't find peace. In Indian culture, it is always insisted that uh, we should aspire for peace and uh, we should uh, have justice for all. Justice for all means love for all. Love uh, is a precondition for justice and uh, we should have mutual love. We should have love among different human beings, love with animals, love for, for nature and so forth. So, Love is another ideal uh, which we have to share. Uh, love results in uh, friendship, maitri. Friendship uh, towards all. So that uh, we don't have any animal relation to anyone. So no hatred for anyone. No malice for anyone. All these are uh, in different, uh, you can say, dimensions of peace. And uh, wherever there is uh, peace, uh, you will find uh, there is uh, justice. 
example of Ramarajya. Ramarajya stands for an ideal state wherein there is a, no conflict, no hatred, no jealousy, and uh, everyone enjoys one's, uh, the fruits of one's own labor and contributes to the wellness of others. So it is a, a mutual give and take. In Indian culture, we have uh, three terms which are very much meaningful. One is that sa astitva. We must live together. We should live and uh, let others also live, which is non-violence. Violence, I mean, uh, uh, hints are for that. And so, this, of course, the, the term appears to be negative, but no, it is very much positive. Ahinsa is a positive term. It means uh, that uh, we care for the wellness of everyone, each and every, both living as well as non-living. Ahinsa doesn't mean non-killing only. widen its meaning and should care for the wellness of everyone. If uh, everyone is happy, then we find prevalence of peace and justice. So what is important is uh, peace and justice uh, in uh, human life in particular. I say human life in particular because human being is the highest evolute in the cosmic process. And therefore, human being has the utmost responsibility. The more you evolve we are, the more responsible we should feel. And uh, it is human being uh, who causes a lack of peace, lack of justice. Again, it is human being who alone can ensure prevalence of uh, peace and justice uh, uh, in the cosmos. Uh, we have the doctrine of karma in our culture. And uh, there we insist that uh, if we do good, we shall have uh, a happiness in life. If we do something evil, some then we are she, she shall have pain and uh, suffering, and therefore uh, it is uh, the action. Of course, action is determined by our mind. Mind should be pure. If our mind is pure, our action will also be pure. And our action is uh, pure, then there will not be breach of peace and. Justice. Therefore, we have to, for all this, uh, we have to have a proper education. Education is the panacea for that. In our culture, education, through education, we get the right knowledge. Nahi jnani ne sadrisham pavitram iha vidyate. This is the emblem of a uh, Vishnu Foundation. So it is knowledge which is uh, guaranteeing peace. Education is not mere information. Education is uh, character building. Education stands for a life uh, uh, which is worthy of living. A virtuous life and uh, uh, only in an educated society, which we call as civil society, we find uh, both uh, peace and, uh, and justice. 
if uh, people are disciplined, if they are well behaved, if they follow the rules and regulations, not uh, uh, rules and regulations are not to be imposed, but they should be part and parcel of our own being. I remember I, I visited China about uh, 20 years back and I found that uh, <coughs> there were no laws. The people were all disciplined. Mao was a great uh, dictator and he disciplined the pe Chinese people. But now I find that well, uh, Chinese are most indisciplined people in the world. So it is proper education and uh, uh, it is, uh, uh, you can say, what we call is Dhamma. <coughs> control of uh, body, control of uh, senses, control of mind and control of uh, our uh, desires. <coughs> I would therefore uh, suggest that uh, we should not only theorize about peace, but also undertake concrete measures to bring about peace in the world. In the world, we have uh, enough for everyone to live and to enjoy. We call the uh, earth, Mother Earth as Vasudha, full of splendors. And therefore, uh, uh, we can uh, have a fulfillment of our legitimate needs by enjoying the fruits of uh, the earth, Mother Earth. So why should we have uh, then uh, deprivement, bereavement? Why should we say that some people should be more rich and some should, uh, should be hand to mouth? I think uh, this sort of uh, disparity between the rich and the poor, uh, this leads to this injustice. And it is this which leads to lack of peace. So, in a peaceful society, there should be a guarantee that uh, everyone should get whatever is legitimately due to him or her. This is what uh, we aspire for. Uh, fortunately, in our country, our culture and uh, our present government also very much care, cares for peace and justice. So it is uh, this uh, which is uh, to be harnessed. And uh, that there should be peace and uh, there should be justice. But uh, it should be merely a want. It should be actualized. So, and this is not uh, an individual affair. It is collective affair. All of us, the entire humanity, should strive for the realization of peace. Is therefore is something which is universal, something uh, which is uh, to be realized uh, by the whole world to collective effort. For this, uh, what we want is prevalence of virtues everywhere. We say, following Bhagavad Gita, Paritranaya Sadhunam, Vinashaya Chadushkatam. 
we sh we, uh, we should uh, not only be virtuous we we make we should make others also virtuous and uh, we should not be vicious and we should not uh, may allow others to be vicious so the civil society is a virtuous society a society wherein uh, and there is uh, adherence to virtues and uh, people care for uh, each other and one another this is what uh, our culture stands for this is what india can offer to the world the contribution of uh, of course india has been a guru in vigyan in the past it is again becoming guru in the field of science and technology but uh, we are guru in the field of adhyatma spirituality and spirituality means uh, that there is fundamental unity in the entire cosmos and therefore when there is fundamental unity we feel that all are one all are our own self not other than our own self and therefore uh, we should uh, care for all belize towards none and love for all and this is what uh, uh, we should have to realize peace uh, peace therefore uh, needs so a planned effort Uh, we have planning for material prosperity we have say seventh plan sixth plan fifth plan etc we can go on having such plans but that's not you know what should we have is a, a say planning for peace and uh, if we have planning for peace not mere sermonizing on peace but planning means uh, actualizing effort making effort to actualize peace uh, is something which is a sadhya coveted idea it is not asadhya it is not unrealizable it is realizable but it can be realized uh, only through proper mechanism proper means and uh, education is the surest means for that and that's why in our culture we begin with the brahmacharya ashram wherein uh, a pupil is given lessons practical lesson to have a virtuous life life of a mutual cooperation and uh, peace i very much uh, appreciate the efforts of swami shri sadguru ji for uh, spreading the message of peace and uh, justice uh, he is uh, a person who has uh, a child like uh, simplicity and purity and uh, therefore uh, he is uh, efforts for peace uh, should be emulated by all he is a, a realized soul and uh, his realization must be shared by all so that uh, we have a mutual respect and mutual uh, regard I congratulate him for uh, organizing this peace seminar every year and not only he organizes peace seminar he makes sincere effort also to help others so that uh, they are they are they are free from injustice i am thankful to him for uh, inviting me to speak something on this occasion i don't keep good health i don't want to speak uh, more and uh, i uh, appreciate the participation 
of uh, learned scholars in this uh, seminar come webinar and uh, i hope that uh, they follow the path of peace path of virtues path of uh, what can be called as uh, sadguna we have to have uh, good qualities in our life and uh, we must avoid uh, all durgunas all evils and uh, mal virtues i thank uh, all once again thank you very much <laughs>